Hello again. I wanted to make a quick video. We were having some issues with our hot water in our house. Um, I fixed this issue before and it definitely will save you some time and money uh, in the long run. So the issue we were having with our water heater was related to the dip tube. So what happens is when you take a shower, the water is like hot for the first 30 seconds and then it gradually gets colder and colder within 10 minutes you'll have cold water. Um, so I'm gonna kind of talk about what causes that and how you can fix it easily. All right, so here's my hot water heater, a little 40 gallon stubby. Um, and so inside your hot water heater you have, you have two connections. You have the, the hot outlet and you have the cold water inlet. So inside your cold water, Right, and it's marked right there on top. So inside your cold water, there's a, supposed to be a tube that runs from the top of the tank down the tank to the bottom so that when the cold water comes in, it goes to the bottom, creates a gradient, and then pushes the hot water out of the top. Well, what'll happen is the tube will erode away and it'll disappear. So when we took ours apart, this was the tube that was in there. Um, and obviously that thing is not taking water all the way to the bottom of the tank. Um, it's either in there somewhere or has come out of the water system. Um, you know, it gets stuck in the faucets, that kind of thing. So here's what the tube is supposed to look like. And I made this one out of PEX. Um, so the tube sits down in there and um, goes, you know, within a few inches of the bottom. Um, and then the way that this sits in there, it's supposed to have a little flare. And you can see this has just a tiny amount of the flare left on it. So um, this is the one that I made again. So what I did was I took a piece of half inch PEX tubing and I put it over a wooden dowel and heated it with a heat gun and then just pressed it to make this little bubble out section there. Um, and then the only other thing you have to do is you want to come down next to your heating elements and you'll put this up about where it is and your top heating element you want to drill a little tiny hole so that some cold water can come out and hit that thermostat that's on that top element so that that top element kicks on um, and then when you put it in you want to point that little hole towards the top thermostat um, and you'll just drop it in there and then reassemble your um, cold water tap so that's all there is to it Good luck.